I'm Ryan Lagarde. And I'm Craig Tovey. And welcome to Storytime with Ryan Lagarde. And Craig Tovey. Remember, if you like what you see, follow us on Instagram. Or go to our website. RyanandCraig.com. We made it out of... The... Internet? You can watch all of our radio loves there. Or send us a message. You can say anything. I have something to say. Ryan, Hanukkah has eight crazy nights. Is that Adam Sandler? Yeah, but it's also true. Today's book is... <gasps> Sadie's, Sadie's Almost, Almost Marvelous, Marvelous Menorah. Menorah. By Jamie Korngold. Mm-hmm. Illustrated by Julie Fortenberry. That's correct. Thank you. Let's get started. <laughs> Sadie's, Sadie's Almost, Almost Marvelous, Marvelous Menorah. Menorah. By Jamie Korngold. Mm-hmm. Illustrated by Julie Fortenberry. Sadie loved school. She loved the Hebrew songs the children sang during music, the wooden play sink in the kitchen corner, and the reading nook with its comfy chairs and colorful books. She loved the boys and girls in her class, and she especially loved her teacher, Maura Rachel. One Monday morning at circle time, Maura Rachel asked the class, Can you guess what holiday starts this week? All the children chimed in at once, Hanukkah! Sadie loved Hanukkah. She loved to spin dreidels. And to eat potato latkes with applesauce. Most of all, she loved to help mommy and daddy light their Hanukkah menorahs. Maura Rachel said, this week we are going to make our own menorahs. How exciting, thought Sadie. My very own Hanukkah menorah. Sadie couldn't wait to start. Excuse me? You have to make a whole menorah? You have to make? A candlestick with multiple stems on it? There's nine stems on it. This is an elementary school project? I can't even make one candle stem. Uh, good luck, Sadie. Uh, we're rooting for you. Big ask. Is she getting graded on this? Oh, I hope not. Ay, ay, ay. Oy vey. On Tuesday, Maura Rachel brought out big blocks of clay for each child. The children kneaded, rolled, and shaped their menorahs. Sadie used a pencil to poke holes in the clay to hold eight candles. Then she rolled a small ball of clay, put one more hole in it, and attached it to the top. This was for the shamash, the candle used to light all the others. On Wednesday, Maura Rachel brought out different colors of paint. There was purple, blue, red, orange, green, yellow, and pink. The children put on their smocks and began to paint. They speckled and spotted and striped their menorahs. Sadie painted hers pink with blue squiggles. On Thursday, Maura Rachel taught the children the Hanukkah blessings and they all sang them together. I'm sorry, what? Do we have to sing while we paint? Okay, I'm having a hard enough time with the fact that I'm fabricating a very complicated candle from scratch. Candle and, holder. And I have to paint it. And paint it. And then you're teaching me songs? I mean, is this Snow White? Yeah, are we trying to whistle while we work except we have to sing and learn new songs? And our work is much more difficult. This is an elementary class? Are we graded on this? Ay, ay, ay. Oy vey. On Friday, Sadie ran all the way to school because today she would take home her pink and blue menorah. All morning, she imagined how it would look on the windowsill in the living room. At pickup time, Sadie waited for her mommy to arrive. As soon as she saw her, she started to run. But in her excitement, she tripped and fell, and the menorah flew out of her arms. Sadie burst into tears and ran across the room into her mother's arms. Mommy! Mommy! I dropped my menorah and it broke into a million zillion pieces! Sadie's mother hugged her and said, Let's see if we can pick them up and glue them back together. But even as she spoke, her mother could see that the shattered pieces were too small. There were pieces of Sadie's menorah in the dress-up corner and pieces in the block corner. There were pieces under the snack table and pieces under the easel. Silently, the children began to help gather them. Maura Rachel placed all the pieces in a small plastic bag. Ah. Oh, okay. Wow. Great. Well, I hope she got graded on it before it broke. Did you see it before it broke? It was incredible. It was Marvelous. But then it broke into a million zillion, zillion pieces. Ay, 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 ay. Oy vey. As they left the classroom, Sadie noticed something near the door. Look, it's the shamash. 
she said. And it's not broken. Sadie, this is an extra special shamash, her mother said. And I think we can find an extra special job for it. You know that when we light the menorah, we use the shamash to light all the other candles. But how do we light the shamash? That could be the job for your shamash. We'll call it Sadie's Super Shamash. Sadie picked up her little pink shamash and cradled it ever so carefully in her hands. That night, Sadie, her brother Ori, her parents and grandparents gathered to light the first Hanukkah candle. They had decorated the house with drawings of dreidels, menorahs, and stars of David. The table was covered with latkes, donuts, and Hanukkah gelt. On the windowsill stood four Hanukkah menorahs waiting to be lit. Right in the middle was Sadie's little pink and blue Super Shamash. Sadie put a candle in her Super Shamash and Daddy helped her light it. Then carefully, she used it to light the shamash on all four menorahs. And in Sadie's family, that is how the Hanukkah menorahs are lit, even today. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay. Everything worked out. Yeah, we started like a, you know, a new family tradition. I love new family traditions. Yeah, that's so great. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Ay, ay, ay. Oy vey. Sadie's, Sadie's Almost, almost marvelous, marvelous Menorah by Jamie Korngold, mm -hmm. illustrated by Julie Fortenberry. Mm -hmm.